Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly reading for October 2021. I am Gina with Witchy Girl Tarot and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. We're going to be taking a look at what the energy is for this month um, and towards the ending of the reading I will draw some cards of advice for you. If you're new to the channel, I would invite you to hit the subscribe button somewhere down there. I never get it right. Um, and also hit the bell so you don't miss any of the notifications. And if you're interested in a private reading, you can just shoot me an email. The information is also down below. Now let's get started, Sagittarius. Before I get into the tarot, I'm just going to draw a card for what you need to hear most via your spirit angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, whomever it is that you resonate most on the other side. We're going to ask for them to come through and deliver a message that will resonate with you for what you truly need to hear right now, Sag. All right, let's see. Sagittarius, what are your guides, angels, or ancestors? Or all three, what do, what do they want you to know at this moment? What do you want Sagittarius to know? What do they need to hear most right now? So just a quick shuffle. I like when they fly, but I'm not getting any flyers. So I feel like Spirit's saying, there's something that you're holding back or something that you're suppressing here. Yep, we had a card that turned around, Cordella, go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air, Sagittarius. Okay, so there's some stagnant energy going on right now in your life or in October at this moment. And Spirit is saying it's time to open the windows. It's time to open the door. It's time to go outside, get some sunlight. It's, it's, it's time. It's time to air out the house, air out whatever is keeping you from being being great, okay? There's a need for you to connect with nature. There's a need for you to connect with water and the sun. There's a need for you to get out. You've been indoors too long. You've probably been home, working from home possibly, um, or maybe working too much. I don't know if it is that you work from home or maybe you work in an office and Spirit is saying that you need to relax. There's You need to connect with something more than what you're used to seeing every day, okay? Now, let's draw six cards for your current energy. Let's see what's going on this month. What is going on for Sagittarius this month, Spirit? What do we need to see this month for Sagittarius? What's the story? Now, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius, but I do pray and hope that you pressed this video, you clicked on this video, and that it does resonate with you, okay? Let's see. Okay, so right away, I'm seeing the Two of Cups, y'all, okay? So this could have to do with a relationship or partnership. We'll take a look. Who needs to know? Oh, okay. So the Three of Swords, okay? Someone's breaking up here. Someone's breaking up or someone's healing from a breakup, okay? Oh, wow. The devil card here, all right? So this is a relationship that could be very, very toxic. Um, this is a relationship that's either someone is a dick, has addictions or could be a dick. I meant to say addiction, but this person could be a dick. <laughs> um, there's addictions here. Uh, it could be a sex addiction. It could be a drug abuse. It could be just a lot of arguing between you and this person. Or maybe it is that you and this person stay together because you're codependent, which also could be very toxic, okay? What else do we need to know? So some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer, okay? I do feel like between you and this individual, there is some distance between you and this person. It could be a physical distance between you and this person. It could be that this person is traveling or you're traveling a lot. Or yeah, there's like a lot of physical distance between you and this person or it feels very distant between you and this person. Like that's the vibe between you and this individual. Yeah, and then we have the Knight of Swords here. I do feel like someone's coming in though and wants to have a conversation with you. They want to communicate with you. Okay, and I do feel like they may be wanting to communicate with you and they may be giving off the energy of like very, just very abrupt 
and maybe you feel like it's too soon to have a conversation and that's why you're kind of distancing yourself or that person is distancing themselves from you. And I feel like it's because you're not ready to have the conversation, but let's clarify these cards with another deck. Okay, two, two of cups here. That's the two of cups here. Okay. Wow, look at that from a completely different deck than Knight of Swords, okay? So with this relationship, this connection, a lot of you guys could be dealing with an air sign, okay? Um, because we do have that Knight of Swords twice, which is a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra, okay? With the Two of Cups going into the, the Knight of Swords here, I do feel like this person wants to speak to you. They want to communicate with you, okay? I do feel like um, it could be that this... this situation there was a specific situation that kind of has you guys at a distance right now with that three of swords three of swords there is like that heartbreak the breakup i do feel like with the three of the knight of swords going into that three of swords it was kind of like someone said some hasty shit someone said some mean ass shit okay um and a lot of the things that they said could be you you guys exchanged words with each other it could be that this is something where there's a lot of things that you don't think you could ever forgive that person for for what they said or maybe they feel that way for you or maybe it's mutual three of swords yeah the world card here so there's something ending here a new chapter is beginning this three of swords energy going into the world card this situation this breakup it, it calls an ending between you and this person okay so there's a breakup there's definitely a breakup here it doesn't always end up being a love reading, but sometimes it's just very obvious on what it is. And some of you guys, it could be that um, it's a business split between you and a person, okay? We got this double card here. So yeah, that world card coming out of that three of swords, it's like, I also get, I'm getting two messages. Not only is this a breakup and it's the ending of a chapter in your life, but I also feel like there's a, a sense of like, um vulnerability and although it's like it sucks that this has happened i also feel like there's a tiny bit of excitement of like what else is out there okay and that's why we got the cordella go outside card i feel like you've been sulking for some time and spirit's like you gotta you gotta go outside you need to you need to just the energy is very funky and stagnant and you need to just like make it fresh make it fresh right now we have the double card here okay what I keep getting is that your, wow, your cards keep flying out, okay? Your cards keep flying out, like all of them, okay? So there's a lot of energy with you, Sagittarius, this month, okay? So a lot of you guys may be feeling very, um, almost like anxiety, but then like you're not really moving around as much as you probably should for your own health and well-being. And I feel like you're just feeling very, um, stagnant is what i'm getting okay then we got the devil card and it's clarified by the two of cups this is in fact two cups i see two people there in the devil there holding them together this is a codependent relationship with someone that you thought with the two of cups was um a soulmate and i what i'm getting is that this was not your soulmate this is a karmic relationship this was meant to teach you a lesson about human behavior and also about your own wants and needs and what you expect out of love okay then we got the king of cups energy here which is a water sign or someone who's very charming with their words someone who's very sensitive and someone who's very intuitive okay it's almost like they can feel things out really really well or that oh so that's like the energy they give off okay king of cups what else do we need to know about the king of cups here yeah the justice card i do feel like I do feel like this person is wanting to, um, they're trying to make peace with the situation, with the justice card, because justice is about justice. It's about equality. Um, I do feel like, as I said earlier, I had a lot of sword energy. So you guys could be dealing with a Libra, a Libra with someone with maybe their moon is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. 
okay? I do feel like a lot of you guys may be married with the Justice card because the Justice card is about the law, okay? Um, so a lot of you guys are married to an, uh, to a, a water sign or in a commitment with a water sign. I also feel like justice is about karma. So I also feel like the message I'm getting, lots of messages coming in, okay? Uh, when I see that double card going into the two of cups, you really thought this was maybe a soulmate connection. And as things have kind of just rolled out, you're just like, wow, you're really not. This is very uh, tumultuous and toxic. And what I'm getting is, is that this was a karmic relationship with this person. This was a lesson for you, again, to learn about what it is that you want for yourself. What do you truly want for yourself? And in the future, what will you not like put up with? When you see the red flags in the beginning, instead of being like, oh, you know, we can move past that. He has, or she has other great things about them. You're going to be like, no, nah, fuck that. I don't want to deal with that, okay? Definitely a karmic lesson for you. A lot of you guys could be married and it could be the severing and the divorce here taking place. But with the eight of wands here, someone is, you guys are at a distance, okay? I don't know why. As soon as I start reading, I start feeling like allergies. Um, okay, so there's, there's, there's distance between you and this individual Sagittarius, or it feels like distance. So it may be that you guys are actually not living together anymore, or you guys are not speaking to each other, or you guys are actually still in the same house, home, apartment, wherever it is. Um, it could be that you work together, and although you are together, it feels like you're miles apart. Like you're so distant. There's this level of like, you're a stranger to me. Like I, I don't even know how to approach you, okay? All right, why is the Eight of Wands here? Eight of Wands. Yeah, uh, Six of Cups here. This is about the past. I feel like this is not the first time that this has happened where you guys have not, where, where you guys stopped talking or where somebody moved out or... Um, I do feel like this, you may have children with this person for some of you. I do feel like this person and you have history with each other. And I feel like right now you guys are again at a distance with each other. And for some of you, I do feel like this is something that has happened before. Like you guys have maybe taken a break before and there was distance between you and this person. And you're kind of at a place now where, okay, now I'm starting to feel like, We've done this already. I don't know if there's any remedy here. And then the Knight of Swords here. Someone's trying to communicate a message to you, okay? And I don't think you're ready to have... I'm getting from your side that you're not ready to have this... Um, you're not ready to have this conversation. And I feel like it's because you're just like, I feel like it's too soon. I'm wondering if you're just going to say the same shit you've been saying or doing the same shit you've been doing where we're good for a few months, a few days, a few weeks, and then we're just back to like being distant, okay? This Nine of Swords here. Okay, yeah, this card wanted to be seen. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. This has to do with your emotional happiness, your family and well-being here, okay? So somebody wants to relate their love to you. They want to reconcile. They want to let you know, I love you. I love you and I care about you and I picture us being together for a very long time, if not forever. If what forever was a thing, you would be a part of that. And I love you and I and I want to let you know that I care about you. But again, I'm getting that you're just like, I feel like this person gives you the vibe of maybe feeling like a, again, like a soulmate, like a soulmate, but... I feel like it's really just because you're comfortable with each other. I feel like you guys have maybe, in some situations, maybe you guys knew each other from a past life and there's like this attachment where it's like you're so close but yet so far. It could be that you know this person from your, your childhood, okay? Um, you knew this person growing up and there's, or maybe you were with this person. They could be your high school sweetheart, your middle school sweetheart, however. And I feel like you guys have grown apart from each other. Um, and then there's this level of you stay together because with the devil card there, there's like this, this codependency. It's you're staying with each other because you like the idea of being in a relationship, but there's not happiness here. I feel like there's more um, codependency here. And I don't think that this relationship is completely, even when I see that double card and the three of swords there, I feel like you guys separately need to do your own healing before you guys could even have a, a chance at trying to make it work here is what I'm getting, okay? So this person may have childhood issues. You may have childhood issues and that shit keeps getting brought up. It could be that you have children together and now those childhood issues are starting to come out and you're just like, I don't want this for my life or for 
my family. I don't want this. But someone feels like they want to come through and have a conversation with you. I just don't think that you're ready to have that conversation. So what I'm getting is take your time, all right? Now let's get some advice for you as far as how to move and navigate through this month of October. Let's see. Wow, we had another flyer. Your energy is like on fire today, Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. So again, a lot of you guys, that King of Cups, a lot of you guys are dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Okay. Um, what I get is that... Um, it's best right now for you to hold off when it comes to this conversation with that King of Cups energy. And I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, focus on your money. Focus on the things that really matter, the, the, the foundation of what gets you going. So if money is something that you need right now or focusing on your... There's a focus right now on you studying. Page of Pentacles is all about studying, learning something new, focusing on your money. So I feel like Spirit is saying, instead of focusing on love right now, there's a need for you to focus on yourself and your well-being. Get back to the things that make you happy. Get back to getting to know yourself here. And with the Four of Cups here being the last card of your advice, the Four of Cups gives me this energy of... I'm over it. I'm dissatisfied. So I feel like Spirit is saying in order to find what you really tru truly are happy about, we need to go back to the basics with the Page of Pentacles here, okay? We need to focus on, on ourselves, on you as a person, who you are separately from this situation, what makes you, off, uh, makes you happy, what turns you on, what ticks you off. All of those things, okay? We need to focus on the things that make us happy as a person by ourselves. Focus on our well-being here and less about love, okay? So this person coming in with an apology, I think right now it's best for you to just keep that distance so you can kind of... I feel like if you try to have a conversation now, you guys are probably going to end up arguing and then it's going to be... I'm not going to talk to you for a few days. I got to heal from the argument we just had. I'm going to feel like shit tomorrow. So Spirit is saying, take your time. Take your time and focus on yourself right now. Heal from this situation. It's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight. But I do feel like if you allow yourself time and distance to figure out where you you feel, I feel like when you do actually have this conversation, it won't be a conversation where you end up arguing, but it actually will, you'll have a breakthrough with this person. They will understand you a bit better. I'm not saying you might end up together. I'm not saying you won't end up together. It's truly up to you. What I do see in the cards is that there's a chance to reconcile, but y'all need some change. You, you need some changes and some time apart. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps this channel and this video be seen. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.